Hi guys, it's Shannon checking in with you for another Feature Friday. This week I'm really excited to show off one of our most popular toys. Um, Goldie's here in the background. This is her coach uh, most days, so she's sharing it with me this morning. Um, so, this little roll of tape here uh, is one of our most popular items in the store. For those of us that know how to use it, um, and kind of nodding like, yeah, maybe, maybe it's time to pop in for a refill and grab a fresh roll. For those of you who have never used this item, um, you often will just walk past it or scroll past it without really kind of knowing what it does or how to use it. So that's why I wanted to kind of dig in this Friday and explain how to use uh, what we call bondage tape. Some people call it pleasure tape, um, other people call it restraint tape. So either way, it's uh, in the package, it looks like, like this. Um, so it's a pretty thick roll of black, shiny tape and this is something that we'll start people off on if they're new to any kind of like bondage play uh, or if they're just sort of looking to pick up a, a simple item to, sh to shake things up or maybe going away for the weekend at somebody's birthday anniversary and they're putting together like a little package of um, fun stuff to do so the thing with bondage tape is that it it works the way any other kind of restraint device would um, it looks really thin and really dainty. It's a uh, actually shockingly strong. So just to kind of show you, I'm pulling on this really, 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 really hard. <laughs> and we can't uh, break it. Now you can tear it really easily. So because, uh, there you go, because it only sticks to itself, it doesn't stick to hair. So bondage tape is really, really lovely on the skin. It doesn't feel like anything. So you can see there's no stick there. Um, even since she's here, and we're saying like it doesn't stick to hair, you could kind of see Goldie could not care less. <laughs> Just for her assistance, I'll give her a treat. Um, so in order to use this, you would sort of grab an end and wrap. It doesn't get much simpler than that, right? And then you would also do the other wrist, or maybe you want to do this wrist to an ankle, or um, maybe you want to do elbows behind the back, whatever you like. We call this the duct tape of the bedroom because it's only limited by your imagination. So like to get started, I would just recommend like simple kind of wrist restraint. Um, but you can get as creative as you want and it's very like safe and easy to use so you know that's kind of the <laughs> and like you cannot get out unless you unwrap right and so luckily somebody's gonna probably do that for you now the thing with any kind of restraint like you could if you're very frugal reuse this by the way but it's very budget friendly so we just like to throw it away um, the thing with any other kind of any kind of restraint is once you've got somebody all tied up, um, chances are you're going to want something to do to them. So, uh, like feathers are really really nice. This is a little um, marabou feather on a wand. I think um, they come in purple, red, or black. Very 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 teasing and uh, tickly and that sort of thing. So super nice on the skin. If you want to go for something a little more risque, you could try. A nice leather paddle or slapper um, these are like handmade leather slappers from our friends at pineapple jam out of Annapolis Valley so as you can see I've kind of color comboed these together because we like all of our kink gear to match so there are um, black versions as well but you get a good slap with that and then you can sort of soothe it with a nice tickly feather Goldie did not like the slapping noise, apparently, so uh, it does pack quite a sting, and she's pushing me off the coach, so I will say goodbye, <laughs> and thanks for tuning in for this Feature Friday. We will have a blog this week about um, getting all tied up, and in our newsletter, it's going to feature all kinds of kink and restraint stuff, so have a great week, guys. Thanks for tuning in.